Welcome back to the bench. We have another RadioMaster MT12 setup video. Today we're talking about MOA rock crawlers. And for those of you who don't know, um, here's a typical little rock crawler. It's got one motor in the middle and drive shafts going out to the front and rear axle, so they are locked together. Um, what MOA stands for is motor on axle. So instead of having a single motor in the middle, there's a motor on each axle. And uh, because of both of those motors have their own independent ESCs, you can control them differently and do things like overdrive the front to crawl up hills better. And you can lock out the rear to give yourself what's called dig. So that locks the rear and the front end can kind of rotate around the locked rear tires as it rotates. So really cool rigs, mainly used in higher end competition. And right, so what does being set up for MOA mean? Well, in the simplest terms, you can just plug both ESCs into a Y and plug them into the throttle channel. And you get operation like this, where you go to full throttle, both ESCs go to 100%. You go to full brake, both ESCs go to negative 100%. So that would be the, the simplest MOA setup. But that doesn't give you any sort of adjustability on overdrive or dig or anything like that. So what most people want to do is be able to turn a knob and change that ratio. So if you move the knob slightly forward, what it's going to do is it's going to put more torque on the front and less torque on the rear. So we can turn it up a little bit more. And you can see the, the front goes to full throttle and the rear only goes to 50% throttle. And similar by going backwards is now we have more torque on the rear, less torque on the front. And it, what's also really handy to have is to have a momentary button for dig. So let's say we're crawling up a hill and we, we want to we come to a spot where we want to stop and kind of rotate in place by dragging those rear wheels. I can just click this button and instantly we go to full brake in the rear and now our throttle basically only con only controls the front. So that's kind of a, a way that most people want to run the motor on axles at least that I've seen. So let's talk about how to configure that inside of Edge TX inside the RadioMaster MT12. All right, so we're on a fresh model here. What we're gonna do is, in this case, I've got these servos plugged into channel two and channel three. So we're gonna add the throttle channel to each one of those. So uh, you press and then you press on this and then you just pull the trigger and it will re register. Oh, you pulled the trigger. We want that to be throttle, so that's good. We turn trim off because with electronic models, throttle trim is kind of nonsensical. Uh, you calibrate the ESC to exactly match the trigger so you don't need to trim the throttle on modern electronic ESCs. And then we want to go back and add a channel 3 mix. Again, click on the source input, pull the trigger, and that knows we want the throttle, and we can turn trim off. And in this case, this is, this is the simple, they're both just set up to be mirrored of each other. And if you wanted to run this way and you just wanted to, to have like built-in overdrive, you could just very quickly come in here and uh, change the, the weight here to be less than 100 for the rear. And then the rear is just going to constantly be lagging behind the front. But we want to put it on a knob so that we can have it that infinitely tunable. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to add another input to each one of those channels and we're going to multiply the throttle channel. So we can long press and go to insert after, and that's going to add a, another input to channel two. And we're going to give it the source of this knob. So now that's going to be the source. Again, turn off trim. And anyway, we're going to come down here and default is to add. So add those two things together, but what we actually want to do is multiply because that's going to be, that's going to change the ratio between the front and the rear. So we've added that and we come down here and we can insert after, do the same thing. Now we can see that when we pull the throttle, nothing happens because this is at zero right now. So our throttle multiplied by zero gives us nothing. If we turn it all the way up, it doesn't do anything to the servos, but now it's being multiplied by one and we get our full throttle. If we turn it backwards, it's gonna be multiplied by negative one. So it's gonna be inverted. 
forward goes backwards, backwards goes forwards. So we need, now we need to go inside and multiply and change these values up to get them to do what we want. All right, and to shift what this knob does, what we're going to do is we're going to change the rear offset here to minus 100. And we're going to change the front offset to plus 100. All right, so now we've moved the offset for this knob. So instead of go for each of the values going from negative one to one, it's going to go from zero to one and one to zero. So now you can see when we're in the middle, we have both of them move fully. We turn it all the way forward. Only the front moves. We turn it all the way back and only the back moves. And that's exactly what we want, but they're out of sync with each other. Rear is going, right now when I pull the trigger, both of them should go forward, but the front's going forward, the rear's going backwards. So what we can do to unchange that is to come to this, and instead of being 100% weight, we can make it negative 100% weight. And you could also invert it and you, there's like, and it's, it's edge TX. There's a thousand different ways to do it. But in my head, it makes more sense to f invert the weight on the mixer. So now full throttle gives us full throttle on each side, full reverse gives us full reverse. We turn the knob slightly forward. Now we have more in the front, less in the rear. We turn it slightly backwards. We have more in the rear, less in the front. But what about dig? It'd be nice to have dig. And you could get tricky in the in this screen here, in the in the mixes screen here. Uh, but when it comes to something like this that I know when I hit this button, the only thing I wanted to do is dig. That's where the special functions makes more sense in my opinion. So all these special functions are built in to run the RGB lights. So we can come down and add a new one. And what we're going to do again, this is a, this is cool because now we can just click the button and it automatically picks that that's what we want it to be on. And since the rear is channel three, we're going to override channel three. And we're going to override to negative 100 percent. And make sure to check the box so it turns on. Now, no matter what else is going on, when I click that button, the rear is going to go to negative 100 percent. So we could even have it turned all the way forward so the rear the rear is completely locked out but i hit this button and it still goes to a negative 100 percent so th this is just the rough setup if you want to change ratios if you want to limit let's say you only want it to go between like 100 percent and 70 percent or something you just change all those numbers in there uh, but this is the rough setup of how to get uh, a torque split setup on a motor on axle rock crawler. So hope that was helpful.